Ka-ching! <laughs> so another tool that I have in my little toolkit is a thermometer. So my property in the beginning of spring is six degrees warmer than my neighbors. What does that mean? My bugs are getting it on! Okay, so it means that we've got microbiological activity, we've got the hallways, the hospital, we've got that whole health of that system really working. We're building structure. Someone's doing the worm dance. Okay, so my place is six degrees warmer at the beginning of spring, and in the middle of summer, my place is six degrees cooler than my neighbors. What I also see is I see, I don't see that real fluctuation of temperature in the day. So if you don't have a lot of microbiology, those soils heat up really fast when it's hot and they cool down when the, like the clouds will pass over, the temperature will drop. Okay, that makes that quite a stressful environment for that plant. So if you've got a buffer, which is carbon and microbiology, have you guys been in straw bale houses before? Yeah, or an earth, <laughs> earth house, you see they are warmer in, in winter and cooler in summer and there's a real slow lag and drag on that temperature. That's what you want the soils to be like. So carbon's what does that. I've seen some properties though that are trampling grass, they're holistic grazing and the biology still not firing. You know, sometimes we need a little bit more action. So temperature's a big one. That property that I showed you, the Haggerty's in Western Australia, they have been recorded as 35 degrees cooler than their neighbours. 35 degrees! So their neighbours are like 65 degrees, you're walking on it, you're like, ow, 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 ow! Yeah, well imagine what it's like for the plant roots and the microbes. Okay, so taking soil temperature measurements is really helpful and also helpful for the smugness thing that we're trying to build. Yeah, just feeling really, really good about your property.